In this video, you'll learn how to find slope, length, midpoints, equations of a line, and also how to partition a segment. So these are some of the more basic skills from the unit. And let's begin with finding the slope of segment AB. This can be done by using an equation. It can also be done by counting on the graph. Segment AB is going up from left to right, up 12 units and over 8. And that's how we figure out the slope. The slope is up 12 over 8. It can be reduced to 3 over 2 as a final answer. To find the length of AB, we can use these original numbers, 12 and 8, and use the Pythagorean theorem on those numbers, or a more direct way to get the length is just to directly go to the last step of the Pythagorean theorem, which is to square root the a squared plus the b squared. This gives us the square root of 208, and with the directions, it says to round to the nearest tenth, You'd plug that into a calculator, and I believe it comes out to be um, 10.44, which would, would stay to 10.4 as a final answer. To find the midpoint, we can use the graph again. And instead of running the entire slope up 12 over 8, we can cut it in half and go up 6 over 4 to find the midpoint. This makes sense as you look at the picture that that looks as if it is exactly halfway between A and B. So the midpoint ends up at the point negative 1 comma 3. To find the equation of a line that would go through A and B, we can rely on the picture to determine what the slope and the y-intercept are. Based just solely on the picture, I would estimate that the line is called y equals 3 over 2x, that much I know from the slope, from the answer from question A. And since I did a pretty good job drawing a nice straight line, it looks as if the y-intercept is at four and a half. Now I might have some doubts of whether or not that is correct and I can eliminate those doubts by working out the y-intercept algebraically. So again I could use y equals mx plus b but instead of relying on the graph I can rely on the numbers that I can find in the question. So the one set of coordinates is three comma nine I can use the 3 as the x and the 9 as the y. And since I know my slope has to be 3 over 2, I can substitute those three numbers in and use those numbers to help me figure out what b is. 3 halves of 3 is 9 times 9 divided by 2, which is 4 and a half. And as you can see, this is coming out just right, exactly like I thought from the graph the y-intercept is equal to four and a half. So now I can trust my picture because now I've got it figured out in more than one way that b is the y-intercept is four and a half. Okay, moving on to the last question. This says that I'm going to have to partition or break up a line segment and a ratio of 1 to 3. They're telling me it's a directed line segment, which means the segment has a beginning and an end. And that because it's written in the order AB, that means that the A is the start of the segment and that B is the end. And it becomes more important at the very uh, at the finish of the question, as we finish the question. It says I'm breaking it up in a ratio of 1 to 3. That means I need to break it into four parts. And 
I do that by taking a look at the overall slope again as being 12 over 8. So to get from endpoint to endpoint, it would be up 12 over 8. But now I'm dividing that overall pattern into four parts. So I will move up 3 and over 2. And I'll be moving in that pattern to break up the segment. So let's use um, this, this black color here to show that motion of up 3 over 2 to find a breaking point for the segment. And I'll be going in that pattern up 3 over 2, up 3 over 2, and up 3 over 2 to, to break my segment into four equal pieces. Going back and reading the question, it says to break it into a ratio of 1 to 3. Since the one's coming first, that means I'm going to give one of those four pieces to the beginning of the segment. And since the three is second, I'm going to give the longer end to the tail of the segment. So the location for P would have to be here at the point negative three, zero. Well, I do hope this helped you with some basic skills. Keep on pushing to do your best. Remember there's a lot of help available to you, um, both online and especially in person. So come in for some extra help. And if you know what you're doing, also lend a hand to other people as well as we're getting closer and closer to our tests and eventually our final exams. Good luck.